Hi, I'm Megan with electricmommy.com, which is a place where I love to share our family's favorite recipes. I've been doing this for a few years on the website, but I'm just getting started into turning those recipes into some awesome videos for you. And I'm gonna get started with one of our favorites on this delicious crunch roll sushi bowl. My littlest actually loves helping put these bowls together and they're really, really easy, if, especially if you can get some of the steps done ahead of time. So if you can help me out with a subscribe, I would appreciate it so much. You guys are some of the first to join the channel and new recipes will be coming regularly. So keep an eye out. So let's get everything prepped. We're gonna break this down into three different sections. First, we're gonna cook our rice. Second, we're gonna make the sauces, both the eel sauce and the spicy mayo. And third, we're gonna toast our panko breadcrumbs. So first you're gonna start off with making your rice. I actually like to cook mine in chicken broth. I just think it gives it a lot more flavor. This is what I use most of the time, but honestly the brand doesn't matter and you could also use brown rice if that's your preference. And here I'm gonna add one and a half cups of the rice to make three cups cooked. While we let this cook, we are gonna go ahead and work on prepping the rest of the ingredients. Next we're gonna make the eel sauce, which is only three ingredients, just regular soy sauce, Mirin, which is a Japanese rice wine. Um, it's commonly used in a lot of Japanese cooking and just regular sugar. Next, we're gonna add all three ingredients into a small saucepan. Turn the heat over medium. Stir and mix everything together. And we're just gonna keep stirring occasionally until this starts to boil. Once it starts boiling, we're gonna turn the heat down to low. After we turned it to low, we're gonna let it simmer for about five minutes until it just starts to thicken. Once it starts getting just a little bit thicker, slightly stickier, we're gonna remove it from the heat and then just let it sit in the pan. Next, we're gonna to toast our panko breadcrumbs. All we're gonna do is pour a cup of these into a small saucepan. Then we're gonna pour about a quarter cup of olive oil in on top of the breadcrumbs. Now we're going to turn the heat to medium, stir these really, really well so that all of the crumbs are coated with some of the olive oil. And we're going to let them sit here and toast for a few minutes until you start seeing them change color. You can see it's just starting to change color and get a little brown. Mix it a little more, give it another minute. So here you can see all of it starting to turn more of a golden brown. So here we can turn the heat off and then we are going to want to transfer this to a plate because the oil actually does continue to cook on the breadcrumbs. Let's go ahead and make the spicy mayo really quick. It takes two seconds. All you need for the spicy mayo is about a quarter cup of mayonnaise and some sriracha. Now personally I add about two tablespoons of sriracha to my spicy mayo but I would start with one that's a safe base. If you're sensitive to spice start with even less. If you like it really really hot like me then you can go a little higher, but one tablespoon is a safe place to start. All you do is mix the two together and you have your spicy mayo. All we need to do here is cover it and put it in the fridge until we're ready to use it. All we have to do now is chop up these ingredients. Here is the crab that I get. It can be either kind, leg or flake. Um, this happens to be 16 ounces only because they were out of eight ounces, but you do not need 16. I am only gonna use half of this. Then a cucumber, cilantro, and an avocado. Let's start with prepping the crab. This is how it comes. I got the leg kind, so they come in these like sticks. Now I start by peeling these apart, just like this, almost like string cheese. Just kind of peeling them lengthwise. So that's how it looks when I'm all done ripping them lengthwise. Then we're just gonna chop it the opposite direction into really small pieces. And here it is after it's all been chopped up. Now I chopped up the cilantro, the cucumber, and the crab. And all we have left is the avocado, which we'll save till right before the bowls are ready to be made because we don't want it to turn brown. And now for the last step, putting these bowls together. Now we have everything ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and start with some rice in a bowl. First, we can go ahead and add some crab. Next, let's add our cucumber. Let's add some cilantro. Now we can add the avocado. Next, let's sprinkle some breadcrumbs. Use a spoon to drizzle on the spicy mayo and eel sauce, and you have this delicious crunch roll sushi bowl. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I'm off to enjoy my sushi bowl. 
I hope you subscribe so you don't miss other recipes. Thank you so much.